Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 6 of All the Mods 3 Expert. Today we're going to finish up tier 1 and head to the nether. So, let's get to it. Between episodes, I made some more chests because, well, I have the resources so I might as well. Just to help a little bit with room. I've upgraded two of these furnaces to iron furnaces. The recipe is super cheap. Five pieces of iron and a furnace. Or you can burn the extra three and forget the furnace if you want. But I have like 20 furnaces. Yeah, 22 because I keep stealing them from villages. Uh, this thing, I don't know the math on it. But basically, let's go over here. Because we're probably going to need some tin. So I might as well just grab some tin. Here we go. Uh, this is... I put two upgrades in here and this thing takes forever. It's, um, it's slow. I also put in a bat box. So, and I put more water mills down there. So there are 32. Four times... No, there's, there's eight, 16, 16 of them, yeah, there we go, I'm gonna say 32, no, but they generate, I think, 32, because they generate one or two EU attacks, so I didn't want to try to mess it up and blow stuff up, so I have 16 of them, so this thing runs on currently five EU, based off of these upgrades, so it makes it work faster, but it takes more power. I went mining, I put more in there, but it's been running for a long time and it's still not done, so it's not the fastest. It needs more upgrades. But anyways, these furnaces, if you throw them in and you watch it, so normally a tiny coal will smelt one, but in this case, a tiny coal will smelt slightly more than one. So it's a, it's a little more efficient, or faster, or both. I, it's at least more efficient. I don't know if it's necessarily faster. I usually just put stuff in here and forget about it. Oh, let's see here. The little robot up top, I had do some... What do you call it? Some of the rubber saplings for a bit. It, it fails miserably with that. So I switched back to birch. What else did I do? Aside from spending forever crafting and mining, I think that's about it. So we need to finish up ore washing plant and the metal bender. If I have enough refined iron, which I should. All right, so let's grab some of this pulverized coal. I know we're gonna need it. Grab a couple buckets. Head back inside. And so we can take the coal, convert it into the fiber, and the fiber will turn into carbon mesh. And that's too many, but that's all right. Only a few too many. The ore washing plant, I already have some of the circuits made, a couple machine blocks. I think I need more machine blocks. So I'll just... There you go. That's how many I can make, so that's how many I'll make. Oh, that was probably all my refined iron. Oh, it sure was. That was probably a bad idea. <laughs> I got two. Okay. We can We can fix this. Get a couple of those going in the background. There you go. That's for you, and you can have that for later. Yeah, it's not going to work. It'll do one. But anyways, let's see here. So I think I just messed up the metal bender. Oh, no. Okay, it was the ore washer that needed it. <laughs> And we got it, so we're good. We need a couple compressors. 
the or for whatever reason the gear. Let's see, what do we do here? Casting, can we make a stone gear? There we go. Make a stone gear, get a couple gold, and I don't have copper. Should have done copper. Anyways, if you take the ore washing plant though, let's throw this down real quick and start it at least. Oh, I set up similar automation on the other side just for glass. For the Tinker's Glass stuff. We'll drop you here. And so now if we take, say, some copper, the road in here. Yeah, I'm out of servos. Oh, it needs water. Uh, yeah. It sure does. Alright, let's get a pitcher plant for now. Can we make a mechanical user? Not the miner, the... oh. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Um, a sink? Okay, a sink looks doable. Looks good. All right. That'll work. Uh, I'm just, I, I've been so slacking on turning this stuff into ingots because it's not the most efficient. That's okay. Let's go sink on top. There you go. Now you got water. Water forever. Enjoy. Yeah, see, that is super slow also. But running it through here, so when you're running the ore through the macerator, you get two of the crushed, which you can smelt down for one ingot each. Right here is ore doubling. Running it through the ore washer machine gets you the purified plus the a couple little tiny pieces. The purified you can go through the, the centrifuge if you want. Oh. Gets you a little extra stuff. Or you can just smelt it straight for copper, which is what I'll be doing for now. But it also gets you those two nuggets worth. So nine of those is another dust. So in the long run, this is just what uh, two ninths more. It's it's not a whole ton, but you know it's it's more efficient. So we'll have to consider doing it. I don't know if I will though. Maybe with enough upgrades. And stone dust, I think, was for the. Oh, construction foam. I don't know. We'll save it. I have no idea if we need it or not. Okay, what was I making? Uh, metal? There it is. And I am short. I got too distracted. But while we're here, we take the carbon meshes and we throw them in here. We'll need 21 of them. Yeah, 21 for what I want to do. So we'll just let that go. And we'll go craft the other part. Because for the nether, I want to make a new shiny set of armor. 
well, technically not shiny. It's it's black. But the nano armor. So diamonds. I have 13 left. I get those mostly from the what do you call them? The random things, beanstalks. So if we take four of them, we can make these energy crystals. All right, let's go throw in the gear. Four ingots per gear, unless it's changed. I'll pull the cast out. That's weird. Shouldn't have done that. And this should be done. And now we're almost good to go. <laughs> I say almost because the uh, slow part comes right after we finish crafting it. Oh, it's gonna suck. Okay, helmet. Got the chest. Got the pants. And the boots. And there we go. It is really good armor. As you can see at the bottom, it's two full sets apparently. But we need to charge it. Actually, I don't know if we need to charge it. I think it works better if it's charged. <laughs> and that's going to be the slow part. So all I have is this bat box. Oh, it doesn't even accept you. <laughs> oh, no. I need a separate charger thing. Um, what was it called? Battery station? No, definitely not that. I really thought it was the bat box I could charge also. Charge. Oh. All right. Let's make that up real quick then. Okay. Yeah, that's... None of that's happening. So we need three batteries. Bit of wood. And a pressure plate, sure. Okay, another circuit. There we go. And the bender. And that should be most of the quests, except... Whatever these are. Oh, yeah, we'll do that later. Because it's uh it's not gonna work. I don't have the, the refined iron for that. Alright, let's see. What do I do? Just throw this down on top. Step on it. No, okay. <laughs> no, not step on it. Alright, let's uh try this. This something. I have no idea how this thing works. Alright. Well, I'll be back in a bit then once I figure something out. Oh, maybe it's this? No, I don't know. Anyways, I'll be back. Alright, so... I think that the bat box and the static charging thing can only charge low-level things like... Perhaps this electric tree, uh, tree tapper. But I made an MFE. Takes another four diamonds. I already had the gold wire. Or you can use the bronze cable. Whichever. It doesn't matter. But this is slowly charging my thing up. Because, well, it only gets 32 EU a tick. So, yep. Anyways, I found a way to charge it. So I'm going to charge all my armor. And then I'll be back. 
All right. So I was looking at recipes. If you throw iron plates inside of your blast furnace, you'll get the refined iron plates. It, you know, it's not super efficient. It's that just took five to do three. So yeah, but with those, come back here. You can make this blank press. So four iron plates total will get you three blank presses, which is uh, what we need. Because we need the extruding press. We need the gear press and the well the plate. Oh, never mind. We need uh, more iron plates. Where are you at, iron? Can we put this in the compressor? Oh yeah, that's the roller compressor does. Dense. Nope. Okay. I don't want to make a roller because it is uh, pretty much useless once we get this uh, metal bender up and running. There we go. We'll let that go. Anyways, I charged my armor. It took quite a while, but this thing will hold 600,000 EU. So I can charge my armor again. But what's nice, now that I have the armor, I can like, we boom, no fall damage. Of course it takes power. Uh, quite a bit of power. It might be power based off of how much you get hurt, I don't know. Yeah, so that was 2400. <laughs> a bit much. You done? Almost. Give me the other ones. Go faster. Maybe I'll get the time in a bottle. Later. What is this? Tier... Tier 4? Never mind. We're nowhere near that. We're still on Tier 1. Is there an acceleration wand? Nope. There might be something else, though. I don't know. All right, and I don't know where the other plate is, so I'm just going to do it like that. And there we go. That should be everything. Well, except for the dynamo. I'm not going to use the dynamo, though. Flint and steel. So I have extra, extra carbon plates. Refined iron this time. It's a bit expensive for flint and steel. In order to fully gate certain progression, game stages has been implemented. Game stages have been implements. Game stages have been implemented. Okay. You'll see various points throughout this pack. This is to make sure you don't do things out of order. You know who you are. Not me. I would never. Just ignore the watermill in the background. Okay, flint steel, that's all done. You're good, good. Keep some of that junk there. Now we can head to the nether. I remember where I put my obsidian. I need to give me a chest. And I think the bender thing is already out here. The bender unit. There we go. And yeah, sure. Why are there. Oh, okay. Like, why are there two input slots? <laughs> but there's not. This is for a battery, I think, the bottom one. If you don't have power, you can manually transport power around using those batteries. If you really want to. It's a, a lot of manual work, which I don't like doing. Alright, let's go set up another portal. Uh, somewhere. 
back here behind the mob farm, sure. Hopefully far enough away where I won't hear it. Put it by the water. I have no idea what to expect from this nether. Oh, we'll find out. And there. Clear up the grass. Light it up. Alright. Let's double go. Yeah, sure, check. Uh, now it's time to go and steal back all the diamonds those zombie pigmen stole from you. Yep, that's right. What we'll do. On your journeys through the nether, you will also stumble upon some nether quartz, cobalt, ardite, and various ores. Okay, cobalt and ardite are there, which means we're getting ore excavation soon. You may want to invest in some armor as nether mobs are notoriously worse than overworld mobs. Oh, we already did that. Let me double check. It was excav this thing. Slime. Yeah, manulin. All right. So I'll be back in a second. We'll uh, load through the nether and see what it looks like. All right, just loaded in. Just grab some materials before I came over. Uh, it's not going. Glowstone, thank you. I'll take it. One of the benefits of silk touch. Give me it all. I can turn it into lamps eventually. Who knows when? Uh, I always recommend. Creating a waypoint for your portal, just in case. I have already set the home command before, so I don't really need it. I don't... Nether ending ores. I don't know if these are the ones that explode. Usually silk touch prevents that though, so uh, if these explode, just be careful, just in case. I don't know. But I don't know if Silk Touch usually prevents that. Oh, dimensional shards too. Hello. Oh no, you're such a butthead. Steel level? Alright, let's see. Can we make a steel pickaxe? Do I have enough steel? I think I used all my steel. I think I only have one piece of steel left. Uh, pickaxe steel. Alright, Terra Steel, Elementium, Mana Steel. No, that just has steel in the name. Oh. Restonia. Hard Carbon. Or is it Tough Alloy? No, that's Mana Steel level. Manulin. But oh, we can't get Manulin. Ardite, Cobalt. Check the quest real quick on that one. Uh, does it say? Doesn't say. Oh well. So I'm gonna go mining. Pick up a bunch of stuff. Mainly... Mainly diamonds and quartz, probably, but I'll probably pick up everything because I'm a hoarder. Yeah, oh, and nickel. Because nickel is uh, pain, painful to find. I need also netherrack, so I'm just going to go exploring for a bit. I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting, maybe a nether fortress or something. But, see you in a moment. Alright, so quick detour. I was doing some exploring. And we need actually an induction smelter. Looks like it's going to be the easiest. We have pretty much access to everything now. 
since we have access to the nether. Unfortunately, soul sand requires mana steel mining level for a shovel. So I have a shovel cast here. I'm going to try swapping out my mattock. It counts as a shovel, so it should be okay. We'll see. The other thing, you make blank casts or any duplicate cast, really. Any, any cast you want. Just two ingots of gold get you a cast. What you could do with those is, once this finishes, give me that. If we grab some of that, you know, super fun to mine obsidian, you can make yourself reinforcement modifiers. I've already done this a long time ago, actually. My uh, pickaxe is actually unbreakable. So what I'm going to do is upgrade my shovel so that it is shovel level mana steel. And then I'm going to add in some reinforcement modifiers. So it'll have 80% chance to not use durability when I use it. Beware, they're dogs. They're aggressive. I have cactus on my sword, so if something hits me, they get hurt. Not by much because my sword's pretty weak. But anyways, what you're going to look out for, uh, definitely get some platinum while you're there. Diamonds are everywhere. Grab them. Get yourself some nickel. And there's draconium. I got eight pieces so far. And uh, get some nether quartz while you're there. Glowstone doesn't hurt. I didn't go very far before I ran across some of that stuff. I gotta fix my bees. Okay. We'll just head back on over here real quick. Because we just need to grab two pieces. Go down this way. Because I was doing doing some exploring. Across the treacherous pits. Actually, this doesn't look like the right way. Which way did I go? Somewhere over here. Up that way. There we go. Let's see. Does this work? Oh, there we go. So get yourself at least two pieces of soul sand, because you're going to need it. My nether is kind of... Eh, I don't know. I didn't go exploring very far. Oh, there's emeralds. I didn't see emeralds before. Do I see another fortress real quick? No, not really. So I've got the soul sand. I've got aluminum. So I'm going to go make up all these parts and I'll meet you back at base. So bad news. <laughs> yeah, looking at the induction smelter, it seems nice and easy on the surface, but it's not. It's a lie. All a lie. We're not quite ready for it. There's some other stuff we need to do first. So let's do some quick crafting stuff. For the induction smelter, we need the alloy tank. So I'm going to take my porcelain tank that I had before and just cast some seared stone onto it. Oh, I need to cast grout onto it. Is that right? Oh, it sure is. All right, we'll do that later. Doesn't matter. There's so much stuff to do. Melt that up. Go upstairs real quick. Put this mana to use that I haven't been using. Go with a couple of those. Uh, that. A couple of them. So we need mana glass. Mana powder. Mana powder is usually uh, a variety of stuff like redstone, sugar, whatever. It's glowstone dust in this one. So uh, n no cutting costs there. 
All right, let's see. I looked at some of this stuff. We need to make an atomic reconstructor. So we need a casing. We need to macerate a couple of, uh, not obsidian. He's netherrack. I need... You're off. You go in there. You swap out with a gear. Go put some of these machines to work. Macerator. Two of those. Oh, uh, extractor. Plus emeralds, diamonds, and nether quartz is uh, good. You get four nether quartz per extractor and five emeralds and diamonds. So, highly recommend using the extractor. Put it to use. Alright, so for this, I need a couple plates for the future. You're done, and uh, dense copper, so I need copper. We're just going to go all over the place for this one. Copper I've gotten here. This goes in the compressor. Eight of those. There we go, it's going. While we're here, we'll just refresh this guy. Look at that. Pick up our gears. Nope, not yet. We'll let him go. Let's craft something else that I've been desperately wanting. The anti-barrel. Get eight obsidian. <laughs> We're just going all over the place. Lock of Quartz. I have an Eye of Ender. Oh, I just made that. And I have some diamonds still. Anti-barrel. This, I'm just going to drop right there. Uh, this thing, it holds stuff that doesn't stack. I guess those can stack. So if it doesn't stack, it can go in there. Including enchantment books. So I'm going to clear up my inventory later with that. They have a ton of room. Okay, that's done. Glowstone dust is in there. Iron plates. That's a negatory. Let's go throw some of them in there. Iron gear. Did I miss... I have no idea. Whatever. Go ahead. I missed the nickel or something. What am I looking for? Grab this, grab that. And it's all so slow. Not there. What do we need? Okay, that'll be good. We have the powder, we have the glass, we need a tin. Oh, all right, I'll just be back in a second. I'm going to start gathering a bunch of these plates up and gears, and I'll be back. Okay, I think I have everything, but I am not sure, so we'll find out. We're going to need a casing. Upgrade that to the reconstructor, and I think we're stuck there now. Yes. So let's go set that up real quick. Remember, the water wheel will generate the RF per tick we want, so... Oh, I don't have a redstone torch. Whatever, I don't care right now. <laughs> let's just get this working. That's going to just constantly shoot. Oh, I need redstone too. Eight? Eight pieces of redstone, I think? Let's see. 
double check that takes four and that takes a little extra so there we go let's make a torch for sanity reasons because it's noisy boom pulse mode except I don't have any button on me <laughs> if it's not one problem it's another go shoot it good enough <laughs> oh wait I needed eight uh... we'll sneak so I don't pick it up there we go otherwise the uh, freaking magnetization will steal it I need to get a button for that, but I'll do that later. Alright, device frame. Two of them. The miscellaneous junk. The mana powder. The mana glass. Tin plates. You can use um the metal bender now that we have it for the plates and the gear. I use the smeltery for the invar because, well, I'm not really sure how else I can make invar right now. Unless I grind everything down not happening I guess a device frame we need a piston okay but I stole enough of those but there so you're gonna need a mana diamond uh, the the mana diamond drop it in the pool it will kill the pool the entire pool will go into that mana diamond so it needs to be a full mana or full diluted mana pool and then with that we should be able to make the induction smelter. Yeah, there we go. Steel ingot, because I really want to get ore excavation before I call this episode. It's going to be... Oh, I messed up. I guess it's not the induction smelter. I should have actually checked the recipes. Darn. Okay. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. And I only have one piece of steel. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, that was a waste of time then. I mean, we can use it, just not, not for that. So how... I don't think we're supposed to have steel yet. I don't think we're supposed to have steel for a while. There's steel. <laughs> In, uh, year three. Oh, fantastic. I, I don't know what to do now. Unless we aim for... I don't think we can aim for Terra Steel either. Estonia? No. What is... Emiratic? Nope. Uh... Dimatine? I'm just grasping at straws here. Don't mind me. These don't make tools, do they? No. Alright, well, I suppose I'll have to look into it. Darn, I really wanted to get that. I'm going to look around just for one more minute by myself, and I'll be back. All right. So uh, I was looking through, and I don't know what the real answer is supposed to be for picking this stuff up right now, but I do have one for you. Flint plus gunpowder. Just one. Get you this thing. From Tinkers. I've played with these a lot before I use them sometimes to fight the uh, chaos dragon but Ooh. 
hello, I'll take that too. And like that, you could pick up Cobalt and Ardite. Yours for the very cheap price of flint and gunpowder. And a big hole in the ground, <laughs> if you don't care about that. Oh, but I'm so happy it worked. I just tried it and it's like, yep, here it is. So I'm like, thank you. So you know what that means? We can make manulin. And then we don't have to worry about it moving forward. I should have grabbed a little more, but I'll do that later. Because what I want to do is... You and Ingot, yes. You're off. You're off. Uh, two of those. Two of those. Hurry up, because I'm impatient. I get quartz from that. Oh, speaking of quartz, I got my sword. It's got four modifiers. So what I will be doing with the majority of my starting quartz, throwing it on my weapon. It's going to go from 6.4 to 9.31, 11.77, And it's got one left, and that level's not even maxed out. I think that's all my quartz, though. Well, I've got a little bit there. I don't know if this over here finished. So I recommend throwing quartz on your weapon if you intend to stick with a tinker's weapon for a while. Two ingots. So I can make a pickaxe head. But we're not going to do that. There we go. We'll, we'll do the, I'll do the pickaxe head off camera and go mining some more. But now... Ah, uh, no, I've got slime somewhere. Don't you tell me that. I killed those little blue slime thingies that are everywhere. Here's some. We're doing it. Oh, that's only... <laughs> only one modifier. Oh, oh, do I have one? Okay. I thought this stacked. It does stack. But, it goes up to 25, it looks. But there we go. Now we should be able to... We'll just go downstairs for this. All the way down here. Now we should be able to use shapes too. Well, that failed. No! Our shapes disabled. Are you serious? Is one not good enough? Oh, let's just try a second one and see. We might need to put in quite a bit more. Let's see. One more. It should just stack. It shouldn't take another modifier. Yep. So what, do you just do two things now? Okay, well, I've got no idea. <laughs> it should be working. Or excavation. Max. Oh, it looks like we're going to need a lot of them. Anyways, now it can be made, so we're going to leave it off there. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.